Well, welcome to our Friday devotional. I am Pastor Cassie with Forest Hills Church, and it has been a snowy week. We've had some adjustments in our schedules and had to do our online Ash Wednesday service instead of in person, but we are here now and ready to focus on God today. So we are going to look at 1 Timothy 4, 1 through 6. Now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons through the insincerity of liars whose conscience are seared, who forbid marriage and require abstinence from foods that God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. For everything created by God is good and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving. For it is made holy by the word of God and prayer. If you put these things before the brothers, you will be a good servant of Christ Jesus, being trained in the words of the faith and of the good doctrine that you have followed. So with how snowy and blizzardy it has been this week, I saw a devotional lately at New Church, and I just thought it was so perfect for this time of year that I just I had to grab it and read it for you guys. So here's the devotional. Pretend for a moment that you're standing outside in a blizzard with only a t-shirt on. I'm going to pause there because I work with teenagers mostly, and this is not something I have to pretend hard about. I'm always seeing teenagers standing outside in shorts and t-shirts in the middle of winter. So I thought, again, that this devotional was so perfect for this time of year. So here's the rest of their devotional. Would you refuse a jacket if one were offered to you? In the midst of freezing temperatures and billowing snows, the warmth a jacket provides would be desirable. Not many of us would stand bare-armed in a blizzard and refuse a jacket. We do, however, often refuse refuge from an even harsher environment. The severe storms of this world can knock us clear off our feet. However, we often find ourselves running toward the storm and away from the protection of a loving God. When we refuse God, we also refuse his goodness and his blessings. When we turn away from his outstretched hand, we turn away from the protection and the warmth he longs to give us. Nothing this world can offer us, even the good things, will ever lead to true contentment. The only thing this world has to offer us is a temporary fix that deceivingly leads us to more emptiness. Fortunately, we serve a God who holds more fulfillment, love, peace, healing, and security than we could ever ask for. Ephesians 3.20 says, God's good is beyond our wildest imagination and far greater than anything this world has to offer. If we let go of our good things and open our hands and hearts to receive God's goodness, we will have more good in our lives than we know what to do with. So take some time today to think over these questions. Have you ever lost something that you thought was good and later realized it wasn't? What's the blizzard you're facing today? How have you tried to weather the storm so far? And what is one way you can turn to God for protection? Join me in prayer. Father God, we listen to the winds and the howling snow this past couple days, and we realize that we are in the thick of trials and tribulations here on earth. So we reach out to you. God is our protector, as our provider. With the light shining through the storm, Lord, we reach out to you to give us that protection. Lord, we try to go through it so many times on our own. We look like that teenager standing in the snow with just a t-shirt and shorts, freezing, but not ready to admit that we are failing on our own. Lord, guide us in the way that you want us to go, so that we follow your ways, so we are in warmth and protected. As we come into this Lenten season, let us not forget what you did for us on the cross, so that our sins are forgiven And our way is made clear to you that we can be back into a relationship with you, Lord. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Until next time, keep calm and carry God.